happy, foggy, frosty, St. David's Day. It's the 1st of March, and St. David's Day is a sad day. It's just before 7 o'clock in the morning. It's light. As far as I'm concerned, spring starts today, despite the frosty rules and the cold pinkies. Newport. Newport. Early in the morning, I'll be back here for lunch. The plan? That's been normal. Starbucks. The chippy? I'll be there later. And the got two more of them. Two pound fifteen seems to be the bonus price on Switch. Right, let's go in. So let's start with the carpets. This one's for Big Cole and Mr. Manning. Brackets, a single man. I could have brought a barrel of this down with me on the bus this morning. Obviously, it would have to sit. This is bronze, right, the Celtic experience, 4.5%. Alcohol by volume, Weatherspoon's Mini Beer Fest. This is St. David's Day today. Well presented. More carpet. Mm. Better up front. Big bit of finish. Touch of American hops. Lots of hops, I would have said. B. Good start. Well, start. Well, apparently, big collar pulls to the carpet. Look at that, sunny. It says nice wee B. Plus. I can't argue with this. That? Listening to Twit. Where would I be without Twit? Actually, where would I be without podcasts? This is Bob by Whitwall. She didn't realise from Gloucestershire. Classic English brewers. This is 4% alcohol by volume. A nice head. Nice weave. Um, unfortunately, very ordinary beer. Sort of like nothing exceptional. It's a shame. Fee. And I moved on from Twit, hashtag JCD, um, to the Verge Cast, and Josh is a father. Anyway, back to the Mini Welsh Beer Festival. Happy St. David's Day, etc. This is Welsh Pale Ale by the Kite, and it is. It was a bit lively, to say the least. 4.1% alcohol by volume. Golden. Nice big head. Oops, there goes the beer mat. You know, that's really good. That's the sort of beer I want. B plus plus. Nice weave. As people from Pencoid say. Post chips. I don't know. Are you rebel? I'm thinking no. I was right about the tiny rebel. There isn't any. Look, the jerk. Don't see that very often. So. This is hole number 8 from Fox Clabber, 4.1% alcohol by volume. The QPRV leads on the TV. Hmm. Over there, over there. Carpet. Hmm. Smoky. Not bad. 
instant decision, B plus. Oxley 10, Oxymoron, the black IPA, 5.5% alcohol by volume, and that is probably going to make me go to sleep. Had a word about Tiny Rebel, I think there's been a falling out. As I said, there's been a falling out and I got out a nod. Anyway. That is wonderful. I'm thinking A minus. Yeah.